Tucson's Real Classic Rock, 96.1 KLPX Dio, Saturday Night Loud. So next week it is Great White, Jack Russell's Great White, coming to the Rialto Theater. And I believe tickets still available. You can go to KLPX.com, find out some info. I'm talking to uh, Robbie Lochner, guitar player for the band. Uh, where are you? What's going on? What's happening, man? Um, we're playing a show tonight in Virginia. Are these the shows that you were doing just with Jack, or are these the Great White shows? No, these are great white shows. I don't know where you want to start here, except for the fact that um, you have a big fan base here. Lots of uh, family and friends and, uh, and such, yeah. I think, like, anybody who has, you know, lived here and been around the rock scene for, you know, a few decades around here obviously knows the name Robbie Lochner, and they know the band Rock Lochner. Uh, but how did it come from these humble beginnings, I guess, to where you're at now? What What's... What's been going on in between? You know, I moved out to California, what, 20 years ago? That's when we actually met, when you were a DJ at uh, KNAC, the world famous. Yeah, I knew who uh, you were, and then you shot me like a cold call one day, and I was like, wow, why is Robbie Lockner calling me? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Through a mutual friend, Christina, if you remember Christina. Right. In fact, I used to bring you on to my radio show in L.A., and yeah. uh, have you play on there. After that, you went into Rob Halford's band for a little while. Yep, and that was, really, I credit you for that. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I didn't know anything about uh, EMAS. You told me, send a package in there. So I thought, sure, why not, you know? Then one day out of the cold, you know, he called and, you know, just hired me. The sight unseen, pretty much. I was like, wow, okay. So what was it like playing with Rob? Really cool. I mean, you know, the guy's obviously legendary and you know, standing up on stage and looking out and seeing him singing, and I'm kind of looking back and going, yeah, you know, I'm really doing this, and that's, that's really him, yeah. <laughs> and he's singing them with me, man, that's awesome. Yeah, exactly. But you moved on from there, uh, mm-hmm. you did a couple of um, different uh, projects in L.A., right? Some that are still ongoing, I guess? Yeah, yeah. In fact, one of them is with your cousin, right? Jody. The uh, Dig Jelly, I do that when I can. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty busy, so it's been pretty hard. But then somewhere along the lines, you hooked up with uh, someone from Scorpions. Herman Rebel. What's going yeah. on with that, man? Basically, I'm tracking, kind of producing his album. So it's kind of interesting because he's over in England. So I get his drum tracks and drop them into the studio and make sure everything's cool. And it's, it's all acoustic versions of Scorpion songs that he wrote. You know, we've all heard the, uh, you know, electric ones, but to hear them acoustic is probably a little bit of a, a different thing, right? A different animal, huh? Yeah, it's definitely really different. And some of them, um, there's another guy from Tucson that's playing on it. He's a um, guitar player. He's playing the nylon string flamenco style on it. Uh, and, who, who, what's um, his name? Uh, Corey Whitehead. Nice. Right now we got four tracks that are just about done and we're getting the singers lined up I should say he's getting the singers lined up because he's got all these different guys he's been calling because obviously Herman knows you know everybody sure. so any, he, any names you can uh, drop on that of people that are going to be on there um, um, you know, yeah sure he's, I guess he's talking to Vince Neal he's well I've talked to Jack since I'm playing with Jack Jack's going to definitely sing one nice um, he wants to talk to Alfred Bruce Dickinson <laughs> uh, Joe Lynn Turner Graham Bonnet um, Phil Moog. But now yeah. you're you're working with Jack Russell. Jack Russell's Great White. How did all that happen, man? That kind of came together through, um, really through the bass player and the drummer, Derek and Dario. It was Derek that introduced um, Dario and I to Jack. So I don't know, I guess it's been almost two years now. Mm-hmm. And that just didn't really fly at the time. Jack was really sick. I mean, he was really, he almost died. You know, he was in bad shape. And then um, he was wanting us to do the solo band, and he was, you know, he hadn't heard me play, but they brought me in, and he was kind of like, yeah, I play rhythm guitar and keyboards, and it was kind of like, okay, I'm really selling myself short, but, you know, Dario kept pushing me, go ahead, do it, do it, you should do it, you you can do it. (laughs) And I just thought, you know, I could do it, maybe. Then the opportunity came up, and they kind of needed somebody for a show. It was supposed to be just one show. He called me up and said, hey, you want to play a show? And I thought, sure, let's do a show. And right. then when we all got together, he just asked me to join. And basically, at that time, he was having problems with the other guys. Oh, so yeah. He goes, Forget doing the solo thing. I'm just going to take my name and I'm going to go. It's my band. I'm the voice. You know, he's the voice. He's the founder. He started the whole thing. And he goes, I can do what I want to do. Do you want to join the band? And I'm like, well, sure. Let's do it. You haven't felt any, uh, like, resistance from anybody because there's the other version out there or anything like that? There's um, No, actually, it's been people are really receptive to us, especially when they see us. 
because, uh, you know, they put out, the other band put out, you know, yeah, Jack hired a garage band. So a lot of people come out, yeah, we're going to see this garage band. And then they see us play and they're like, whoa, this isn't a garage band. Right, exactly. So it's, uh, you know, and he is the voice. So it's like, you know, exactly. if, you hear, if you hear Van Halen, you want to hear the Dave voice. If you hear, you know, Rush, you want to hear Geddy Lee. If you hear Great White, you want to hear Jack Russell, you know. Yeah, exactly. So uh, so the show's going to be happening on the 17th of November at the Rialto Theater. Uh, yep. I mean, we've been getting a lot of calls about it, people asking about it, people talking about you and the band. I think there's still some tickets available, and you can pick them up. Uh, you can actually go to kelpx.com and find them there. Uh, what kind of, uh, you know, like set list are you playing? What, uh, you know, from one specific set of time? Is it uh, from all over? What, what are you guys doing? It's from, we're doing something off of the first record to, you know... You know the biggest songs they did. We got to cover those. You guys touring with somebody, or it's just uh, it's just you guys, and then you pick up a local band or something. Yep, that's what it is. We pick up a couple local acts. We'll just jump in and open the show. And yeah, I know uh, band Dirt Nap is going to be opening for you guys, which yep. is uh, band, yeah. So uh, man, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. It's been a long time since I've seen you uh, play with anybody, and uh, you know it's exciting, man. And I know that there's a lot of cool. people here in town that are. Waiting for, uh, you know, not only the show, but sort of your homecoming. Um, yeah, and- I kind of look at it like that. It's, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, you know, the whole family will be there, which is probably about 100 of us. And that's about it, man. Robbie, it was good to talk to you. Yeah, it's great talking to you again, and I hope you'll be uh, introducing us that night, right? I hope so, man. <laughs> yeah, we'll work that out for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm counting on that. So, uh, yeah, definitely going to see you there next week, and uh, have a good show tonight. Okay, thanks, for sure. So let's do some great white right now, Lady Red Light, 96.1 KLPX Saturday Night Loud.